we're linear beings. We live our lives from point A to point B. We create our presentations that way 90% of the time, maybe more, we're gonna give presentations that way. Slide A, slide B, slide C. Most of the time, that's fine. But when it's not fine, it's really not fine. And so that's what we're gonna talk about here is strategies that will give you more control over how you navigate your slide decks. We're going to be looking at three basic techniques for thinking in a nonlinear way. How you can jump to a specific slide in your deck, how you can move to a group of slides, and the thing that you've seen about 20 times already, how you can move to a different slide deck altogether. What if I don't even make it past that 15 minute slide that you saw first thing in the morning? We spend all of our time talking about here, and I'm going to say, okay, well, our last topic is going to be animation. Click. Boom, right there, nobody had to know that you just jumped over 15 slides. You can operate this deck however you might want to. Thank you all for coming, ladies and gentlemen. We have three topics, and uh, because um, John has a flight to catch, he's asked us to do the stakeholder report first. So we're gonna click right here. Here's the stakeholder report, yada yada, blah blah blah, yada da dum, da do do do. And when we're done, we're right back here. I now have the opportunity to navigate this slide deck in a much smarter way, thanks to these custom shows. If I just advance, it automatically goes to that first one, where now we're gonna scroll through, and when we're done, we come back. We zoom in and we zoom out. Or I could click to go to any one of them. Flexibility on steroids, where you can just be so responsive to your audience. Let's say that you attended one of those seminars. You have to come to the room. I buy you lunch and make you listen to me as I go through a pitch about how you should invest with me, you know, some financial analysis or whatever it might be. And I've got a bunch of topics and I go through them. There's a bunch of stuff also that um, maybe you're going to ask me about, maybe not. I want to be ready if you do. And so maybe you asked me about negative amortization. And I said, okay, well, uh, thank you for bringing that up. And I come down here and I click and up pops a little menu. There's negative amortization. I click. Now I'll give you 30 seconds all about negative amortization. And when we're done, then we end up right back where we were, where maybe if I want, I can also talk about low risk versus high yield. Or I could just make that little menu go away altogether. And your audience says, whoa, amazing, how'd you do that? <laughs>